Hello, I am Victor Paredes. I am the product manager of Moho, and I want to show you some of the improvements over the freehand tools in, in Moho 14. Now, many of the requests we received about Moho were related to the freehand drawing tools, that is the freehand tool, the blob brush, and the eraser. Uh, in past versions, they weren't working very well. Um, if you, Moho was great to use the vector tools to to sculpt your character in some way, but if you wanted to sketch something, then it was way harder to do with Moho. Now, with Moho 14, we updated the entire graphics engine. It, this is a huge internal change, and the results are very clear when you start using the tools. So I will try to show you what is better, but this is really, especially if you are an older user of Moho, this is something you have to try and you will totally notice the difference between uh, 13.5 and any other version before version 14. So first, the freehand tool uh, is working much better, the performance of the tool is much nicer, so you can just draw stuff. Let me just decrease the size of this, uh, maybe, yeah, 3 pixels, yeah. So you can just sketch things and, and the tool just works very well, so you can sketch very quickly, something that wasn't possible in the past. So you can simply sketch there and let's say you want something like that. Okay, so I'm just doing whatever here, tracing over this character. But I just wanted to show you how quick it is uh, to draw. But again, this is something that, that you have to feel actually. Uh, you can also use brushes and we can use more complex brushes and the brushes, they work nicer now and and they the performance is very good. So you can just use different brushes here. And of course, everything here is working with the pen pressure. So you can just draw and use the different pressure here. Um, another improvement is the blob brush. Okay. In the past, if you were drawing with the blob brush, let me just uh, pick a color here, maybe blue. Uh, I will just draw something with the blob brush, but something blue here. Okay, so I will just draw something with the blob brush. And in the past, if you started to add details to the blob brush, uh, it started to lose details in other places. So that is not happening anymore. So now, whatever you paint, it will be accurate. Okay, so you can just paint whatever you want here with the blob brush. And I'm, I'm holding Alt and dragging right or left to increase or decrease the the size. So you can add a lot of detail here, and this is all added to the same vector and everything works nicely now there are some improvements to the uh, to the eraser tool also so in the same way as the blob brush you can simply erase things and it just works in a very nice way and you don't get any distortion so you can work over the details here very easily and one advantage also is that now the the eraser also works over lines this didn't happen in the past but now you can actually erase sections of the vector lines so I can just erase that or cut or make several cuts there so you can see this is all vector so it is all cut like that and I can continue erasing if I want another thing that you can do is that you can use the blob brush let's say I'm going to paint some shape here and I will send it to the back so it's going to be behind the character here okay so I'm just going to paint that. And now if you use the eraser, you can erase both the shape and the stroke, the fill and the stroke. So you can see I'm, I'm erasing both here. But if you want to erase only one of them, you can select the shape. So I'm going to select only the, the blob here, only the fill. And if this fill is selected with the select shape tool, now I can use the eraser and I can erase here, let's say I will erase here, and now you see that only the selected shape was eraser, erased. So if I select, for instance, only the lines related to this uh, horn, I can just erase la only parts related to that horn. So you can uh, erase very specific parts. So there are many other changes, there are many other internal changes that you will notice. But basically now the, the drawing tools, they work much, much better. They work for 
uh, drawing, sketching, or creating um, traditional animation. So let me just show you uh, one of the examples we have here. So I'm just opening this. So here is a traditional animation done with the freehand tool and tools. And you can see this is all vectors. And actually I can still take come here and modify them if I want. I can change the language. Uh, I could change the color. I could change the curvature. So everything here, you can modify it. Uh, but it's using a style. And it is a sketch with the freehand tool. And you can see also that the timeline for frame by frame animation has, has changed. So now it is easier to manipulate keyframes, uh, to navigate between keyframes and to do other stuff. But that's it for the freehand tool. So I can just add more lines here if I want. There. So yeah, I'm breaking this animation. <laughs> but there you have it. So please try it. And if you were, again, if you were an old user of Moho, I'm very sure you, you will be happy to notice the difference. Thank you for watching. Bye.